It's a great day to be in real estate. This is Dwayne Beisner, sales manager and sales representative for ERA Real Estate. Thanks for joining me once again. You know, I'm going through a new training for real estate that's called Quantum Training. And I just uh, wanted to mention, we're only in our second week of the course, but it has been interesting because although I'm not learning a lot of new things, what I'm realizing is a lot of the old things I'd sort of let slide or forgotten about, I'm learning in a whole new way. And, you know, I've always sort of found it sort of strange that so many people get into real estate and really don't treat it as their own business, which it really is. They don't have a written business plan, many of them. They don't want to spend money marketing themselves or the properties that they have listed. And they don't want to spend money or time on educating themselves. Well, think about this. What other business would work for you if you use those same mindsets and strategies? Answer, probably none. You know, somehow in America, we've become spoiled and want the easy buck, the easy street, the easy way out. When the heck did that happen? That's not the America that held the Union together in the 1860s, and that's not the America that helped to save the free world in World War II. In terms of real estate news, if you've ever bought a property before, then you're probably familiar with the offer, the offer form that you use to purchase a property. In real estate, we call this a Residential Purchase Agreement, or RPA for short. Well, just an FYI, a brand new version has just come out with over 130 changes. So it's important if you or anyone you know is thinking about buying or selling a property, you need to make sure that the agent you use understands all of the changes. Just an FYI, I mean, learning and keeping up with real estate legal issues and market trends is a never-ending process. In spite of all the negative news that floods the airwaves and newspapers, I've got some good news. It appears that the California foreclosure crisis is abating. New data shows, such as the federal government and the big lenders have been stepping up efforts, as you know, to keep troubled borrowers in their homes. I want to let you know that mortgage default notices, which is the first step towards the foreclosure process in California, plunged over 40% statewide in the first three months of this year compared with the same period in 2009. That's huge. That's almost half. That's according to the San Diego research firm MDA Data Quick, which is where title companies and most of the other companies get all their information from. Also, too, foreclosure sales. So sales after the property went through foreclosure actually dropped 1.7% from a year earlier and 16.1% from the last three months of 2009. Data Quick reported that also. So the numbers suggest that the housing market will not be flooded by a fresh wave of bank repossessions or even what some people refer to as shadow inventory. So, And that was seen as a major threat to maybe the market's recovery. So that's good news. And I do have to say this, as I always do, this market right now is the best buyer's market you and I will ever see in your lifetime. So if you or anyone you know is looking to buy a home anywhere, give us a call here at ERA. And if you're thinking about making a move into real estate as a career, give me a call, shoot me an email. I'd love to talk real estate. This is Dwayne signing off. Happy trails to you, as always. Proud to be an American. Thank you for watching.